Hello, everybody. Hi, happy Monday. Happy Monday. You probably saw my little goof when I had this on screen when I hit the start. Sorry. Go, it happens. Mm. I'm in hurricane prep. I'm not thinking about shows. <laughs> hurricane prep. I'm in hurricane prep. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit. So <laughs> I know there's a storm a coming. So <laughs> <back to it? laughs> no. no. <laughs> Um, I know that, that some of you are here from the House of Mouse Expo page, so hey. Um, and I know that you are waiting for the next guest announcement, but um, it's us. <laughs> we'll be so, there. Sorry, it's us. Um, so, Corey's Cor got to eat my friends of you for you to sign. Nobody wants that. Anyway, so um, do you want to uh, do your little spiel and then we'll get right to the guest announcement? Hello, I'm from PMSM Weekly Live, show number 130 for September 26th. 2022. I'm Scott. I'm Michelle. I almost forgot what day it was. You had the program, Matt. With I'm tired. It's been a long couple days. I know. Okay, anyway, so um, as usual, please tell us where you are watching from in the comment section, or if you are watching the replay, tell us that too. And um, of course, share, share, share with your friends to help uh, us get a better reach. Friends, frenemies, enemies, family, Whoever. everybody. People Whoever. waiting for the hurricane. <laughs> anyway, so before we talk about anything else, I think that it is time to do another House of Mouse Expo guest announcement. So we uh, last week uh, put together that we're having this big Hocus Pocus reunion, but maybe another reunion is being put together. For a different, not for Hocus Pocus. Not Hocus Pocus, but Scott will um, hit it and you guys can see what we're talking you ready? about. ready? Here we go. Armory. Well, well, well. Look what we have here, Twig. Captain Jack Sparrow. Last time I saw you, you were all alone on a godforsaken island, <laughs> shrinking into the distance. <laughs> His fortunes aren't improved much. <laughs> Worry about your own fortunes, gentlemen. The deepest circle of hell is reserved for betrayers and mutineers. So there is a curse. That's interesting. You know nothing of hell. So there you have it, our next guest announcements are two of our friends, Vince and Trevor, who were there with us last year. Yeah. And a lot of people said they really enjoyed meeting them, talking to them. They were we had a lot of requests to see if we could get them to come back, especially with the other pirates we've announced with Lee, Marty, and Kevin. Um, so when I when I talked to Vince, um, he was all for it, he was all in, and Trevor was the same when I messaged him. They they both just wanted to be a part of this, they just think it's fantastic, and they of course wanted to come back. So we're very excited to have both of them. Yeah, so not only do we have a Hocus Pocus reunion, we have a Pirates of the Caribbean reunion, too. Our, so we have five pirates. So as we said last week, the, the after hours party on Saturday night is going to be Hocus Pocus themed. Um, but Lee did tell me the pirates are going to be there to party with everybody. So we will have five pirates to party <laughs> with everybody at that, that party there. So. Yeah, come party with the pirates. Mm -hmm. How fun is that going to be? And, you know, they're really, really nice guys. So we are really excited to welcome uh, Vincent Trevor back along with Marty and Lee and I Kevin. Can. So we have five pirates. So it's actually cool because I play fantasy football with Lee and with Marty and Vince. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in fantasy football league with the party though, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty so cool. it'll be it'll be really fun. These guys are wonderful and um, I think you're really gonna enjoy this Pirates yeah. of the Caribbean reunion. So get your tickets at houseofmouseexpo.com. Welcome and Vince is on. Hey, Vince. <laughs> we were just saying what a wonderful 
Oh, wait, that's Lorenzo Vincetti. Oh, I wrong read it backwards. Person. Sorry, Vince. Lorenzo. Sorry, I read it backwards. That's You're just off your game. I'm off my game. I'm going to go sit in the other room. But Vince does show. watch our feed. He does so, watch it. And he does follow all our stuff. And so he meant if you text the reply. He will. Or I'll send him a I'll tag him or something later. Good Lord. All right. <laughs> um. Anywho, uh, what else are we going to talk about? Oh, we're going to talk about um the the elephant in the room. The ho- the Halloween party last night. No. Oh, we went to the Halloween party last night. We did. I thought. No, I was just saying. I haven't read your notes. Here. What's you put next? Put it right on the pumpkin. Oh, the, the elephant in the room is next. <laughs> You've been watching more about it than I have. I really. All right, so. I have a as you all know, there is a hurricane coming this way to Florida. Not just parts of Florida, like all of Florida, including Central Florida. <laughs> so um, I have been watching this for days because I'm worried. I don't worried. Okay, let's rewind. When we moved here eight years ago, I was worried about hurricanes. Now being kind of a seasoned person, now I'm just trying to stay informed. Not worry, stay informed. There's a difference. So I have been watching, okay, if you guys don't follow Mike's weather page yet, you really need to because this guy, he's got over a million followers and he is always spot on with the weather and he just he just calls it like he sees, like he sees it, no fluff, no panic, no media garbage. The best is his sponsor. <laughs> like ABC Wine and Spears. <laughs> um, so I've been watching and reading about this so much um on my phone that i've actually had to take motion pills because i'm I'm dizzy right now from watching all this because i want to see what's going on she watches it before she goes to bed when she gets up in the morning she grabs her phone and starts watching she's checking throughout the whole day since we got back from california okay so because they do updates at 5 a.m 11 then 5 then 11 so you can check it all the time but anywho so um so I've had a lot of people ask about uh, Disney and our area and whatnot. So uh, the weather forecasters have been, here have been very um, non-committal as far as timelines for all this stuff because the storm is so big and it, it could shift this way, it could shift this way, but it looks as though it's going to hit somewhere near Tampa and go across to our area. Mm-hmm. Now I found out before we went live that Bush Gardens is closed. Um, Monday, or sorry, Wednesday and Thursday, which makes complete sense. That's like an hour from here. Um, I know there is talk about the parks here, um, but nothing official because there isn't, they, they have not released a statement. This is just chatter. And if, if it goes anything like past hurricanes when the parks are closed, we will hear from Universal first. Uh, they usually are the usually. first ones to make the decision, then Legoland and SeaWorld follow, then Disney finally comes in last, usually. So usually. usually it's closed. Unless they jump on it right away this time, but we don't know, but I promise you, I am watching constantly. As soon as we hear something about any park closures, I will be sure to post it on the mainstream mouse and our, um, our Facebook group, um, everywhere. So make sure you're, I have Facebook is garbage with showing people our, our posts. So if you make sure you're following the mainstream mouse on the, um, on our main page and then maybe put see first or I don't know what they have as an option now, but you want to make sure that you're, you, I promise I will make sure to update everything. Yeah. So Stephanie, um, she's on the coast and she said they're getting rain in Apollo beach right now in thunder mm-hmm. already. Um, Tampa's going to be hit the hardest. Uh, Meredith said schools here, obviously closed Wednesday and Thursday. They already announced that. Um, so we're just, we're kind of in a waiting game and people started panicking Friday and the stores started running out of stuff. Um, cause we went to the store just to buy a few things. We didn't need a lot. We just want to get like an extra case of water or whatever. Um, so we're hoping that nothing, knock on wood, we've never been in a storm where we've had our power knocked out since we lived here. Well, we got lucky last time. So yeah. if you guys recall in 2017, uh, hurricane Irma hit and it went right across us in central Florida. Now at that time we were on Disney's power grid. Yes. What you left me? No, because that's why we didn't have a problem. <laughs> so we didn't lose power because our house was so close to Disney that we were on their grid. Um, so we were good. Now that hurricane was scary because we were watching it at 2 a.m. on the news and you could see it like it was tracking right over our area. The news actually took a live camera feed from I-4, which was less than two minutes from our house. Yeah. And we were watching that. And this now, since we moved to our new house, 
We're actually on the Kissimmee Utility Authority's power grid because they are literally around the corner from our house. Yeah. Their main main offices. So we hope I that that'll be, be the okay. case. But there's a big difference between the outskirts of the Disney area and the Disney area. So, um, you know, we are uh, we're taking as much precautions as we can. Scott uh, put away all the pa patio furniture today. Pulled everything from the outside. Um, you make know, sure generator is make work. sure our generator is, is going to work. We haven't had to use it since we bought it. We bought it after Irma. Um, so we're prepared as possible. Uh, and we just, we, I'm just asking that, um, you know, everybody be patient with us mm -hmm. Floridians because there's a lot of chaos going on right now. Yeah. And, um, you know, it doesn't do any good to panic. It's just about preparing, and that's what we're trying to it do. Is. And I think a lot of the panic, too, is they, they put out a statement last, or something last week, where almost a quarter of a million people have moved to Florida this year alone. So all these people are not hurricane ready. They've never they've never lived here. The first hurricane. time for people. So I think a lot of these people, much like we were the first time, we didn't know what to expect. We were used to tornadoes in Michigan, but never a hurricane, anything like that. So. Well, they see, and that's another thing that they're worried about. It's not just the hurricane. It's the tropical force winds and tornadoes and flooding. That's a big thing they're worried about mm -hmm. right here is flooding because we've had a lot of rain. Yeah, our, our, our uh, grass is soaked still all the way through. So they're saying a lot of trees are going to fall over just because the grass is so soft mm -hmm. that the tree roots are just going to, the wind could push it over. Um, Adam just said they announced Wilderness Lodge guests who are in the tents are being moved to other resorts as precaution. Right. Oh, so that's, that's good. Okay, so you, you're Adam. hearing that here first. Thank you, Adam. So anybody the, in the tents in the campground are being moved inside? I'm, that's what it sounds like. They're moved, being moved to resorts where they can be at. Okay, yeah, and they did that for Irma too. Yeah, and uh, then John just said the la latest track is bumping it more east. So yikes, of course. On yikes, that of course on that. Um, and then Jimmy said, just make sure you have enough alcohol. So. <laughs> and then then I, I I miss this one, but Donna, who is in Buffalo, New York, she said they've been being hammered by the hurricanes um, as they move through. Um, their last day and a half was pouring rain, flooding, thunder, and lightning. Very loud by them because oh, so, they're getting from the other side. So um, hopefully this all passes and we're, we're almost to the end of hurricane season. So that's that's the the best part of the whole thing. Is that yeah. Um, but you know, we're just going to try to stay indoors and, you know, I, I, I'm, okay. I'm just speaking from frustration, so please don't hammer me for this, but you know, it's watching the comments and stuff that people are like, oh, you can still go to the parks and your crops and your poncho and the store. No, <laughs> if there is a hurricane in the area, you can't do that. Well, and my problem with that <laughs> is if Disney closes the parks, these people who are saying, well, let's go to Disney and walk around. The storm is supposed to hit directly over where we're at now in Central Florida. We're 10 minutes from Disney's property. So if the storms come over here, then cast members have to work if they keep the parks open. And then that puts them at risk. So Disney will most likely close. When? We don't know. But I would say they will most likely close as a precaution because they have the last few big storms. Right. Now, if it doesn't happen, this this storm by some miracle of God could move somewhere else and Disney doesn't close and we're fine and we all prepared for nothing. But it doesn't look that way. Um, so, you know, you, and another thing about that, you know, people wanting to go and party in the rain at Disney. You, know, you have to think about the cast members because their safety is important. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think Disney or any or, or Universal no. or SeaWorld, sea like you know, these they can't put their employees at risk for people's vacations and fun. You know, they, you have to consider the people that live here and work here. And I'm just asking um, for you know, show grace to these people um, because this does affect people's lives. 70,000 plus cast members rely on Disney for their, their living. So yeah. um, we just need to keep that in mind that they're they're going through a lot. Just like a couple years ago, I remember Castaway Key, they evacuated, but some had to stay behind. Yes. Oh, my gosh. And we found out there was a bunker that they were they were in a bunker during the whole thing to, yeah. for safety. And I know there's places on Disney property for because there will have to be cast members. If there's people at the resorts, cast members do still have to work. And there's places on property that are safe zones for them. But I think Disney wants as few of them, <laughs> as few guests, as few. It's They don't want that on their plate. They don't want to have to, to worry no, about it. It's really safety. a hard it's situation, hard... Be, you know, between keeping guests safe and um cast members safe yeah and stephanie just said and grocery store people who are the, 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 the employees they're oh getting oh my gosh 
And you know what's really bad too is, uh, you know, like just for example, how people are sometimes. Um, we had gone back to the store today and they had just gotten a pallet of water mm -hmm. in and they had employees standing guarding the water so that people would only take one because they didn't do that last week and people were filling their carts with like five and six things of water, which really isn't fair because don't hoard the water. Don't, you know. Well, how many days are you expecting us to possibly lose power for? I mean, I don't think we're going to lose it that long. I mean, years ago, yes, you could lose power for maybe yeah. three, three weeks, but I don't think that happens as often anymore. Um, and I, I know they'll eventually get resupplies. If yeah. Were to have. If, if it was to keep going on, we'll get supplies to the state, you know, help us. Yeah, out. but I don't think like the theme parks have to worry about power outages. It's us in the residential areas. Yeah. So um, we just want everybody to stay safe and um, again, stay tuned for updates and all that good stuff. That's a good thing with Jackie. Hurricane weather is not the same as sticking out an afternoon thunderstorm. You are correct. So, and I think yeah, people cool. forget that. And Jackie's from Florida also. Um, you know, we get it down here, but a lot of people that don't live here don't get it. So, um, you know, Disney and Universal and SeaWorld and everyone else is going to do what's best for everyone involved, the guests, the workers, mm -hmm. I mean, for every situation. And, you know, um, you can always make up park days, but people's safety right. is more exactly. important. So, exactly. and I'm not trying to lecture like a mother like I am right now, but it's just, I've seen so many comments online, again, dizzy from reading too much. And there's just so much happening that people aren't thinking the big picture. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I'd be disappointed too if I was if I waited a year and this is the week I have Heck to become yeah. to Disney, um, and this happened. But it happened to us a couple years ago. We were going on our fan cruise, happened right after Hurricane. Hit the water. <laughs> Hello, good times. And it was it was it was really rough for me. I, I get motion sickness, so that really bothered me for the whole cruise. But it, it was just one of those things where we just had to make the best of what we could and. Um, that boat rocked and rocked. We couldn't cancel it. It was right on the heels of of a hurricane, and it was the worst. I mean, it was just so. But we did it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I fully get being disappointed that if you're waiting for your trip and you waited to take your time off of work and kids are ready and all that stuff, and then you have to cancel it because of the weather. Um, it does stink, and um, no, I fully understand that. But just hopefully, everybody gets through this. Um. And we come out better on, on the other side of it all. I know when we lived at our other house, when was it? Which storm was that that came through? Where it was Irma. Irma. We were the only ones in our cul-de-sac that stayed. Every one of our neighbors took off and left. We were the only ones there, um, but we were the only house that had no damage. That was the crazy thing. Yeah. Um, because it, you know people are like, oh, hurricanes aren't bad in Central Florida. That is false because we had our our little area. We had lived on a court. And every house was damaged in our neighborhood, but us. I have no idea why, from the grace of God, that we made it out. We didn't even lose a screen on our pool. No, yeah. but the houses around us, the big trees, you guys, like big, not little trees, like the big ones that have been there for years and years, years, uprooted Falling out of the cars. ground. Falling hearts. Our neighbor across the street, this big, I don't even, I don't know, tree life. It had to be a 30, 40 year old tree. At, at least. least. At least ended up on her car and smashed it flat like a pancake. It was awful. And she was gone. And she was gone. And she came home to a flat car. Yeah, she came home to a flat car. We tried to find her, reach out to her, but we couldn't find her on social media or anything to let her know. But it was, but it, like Michelle said, we were the only ones on our street that stayed behind. We were the only ones that didn't even lose a screen. So it was, it was kind of odd that that happened to us. But when that, I'll tell you what, because we have never been in a hurricane before, when Irma, went across our area it sounded like there was a freight train outside it was like picture a train going on your lawn yeah. our windows are shaking and it was just it was the weirdest thing so you know i don't expect it to be irma's type of strength in our area that was bad no but, I, they're saying probably one to two cat um i know it just went to a cat two a little while ago before we went on air and it's supposed to, get, it's supposed uh, to gain four. strength yeah it's supposed yeah. to get up to a four they're saying by the time it would get to us it'll be a one to two which is one to two is not, oh, it's not that bad. But one to two is still really bad. It's still what, over 75 mile an hour mm -hmm. at least. Um, so most people, their windows are graded up to either a cat four or cat five in the area. So we're at cat four. And we have big windows in front of our house that make me a little bit nervous. But, you know, stuff can be replaced. Exactly. You just have to make sure that you guys are safe and everybody who's going to the parks. If you are coming to town, if you can't, if you haven't canceled a reservation, if you are coming, please just 
take precaution and be safe. And one thing I saw today, if you are in the area and you need a place to go for safety, I, I didn't tell you this, the Rosen Plaza was offering special rates for people due to the hurricanes coming in if they need a place to go for safety. Oh. The Rosen is allowing, pets are allowed right now. Oh, that's another um, thing. Um, I had read online right before we went to like hotels at one of the hotels at Universal is saying if you have to come with a pet during a hurricane, they're allowing you to bring your pets. Yeah, they're not they're not stopping you from because it was a, a couple of years ago people had left their pets behind. And, you know, oh God, please never, do never, that, never. But, but yeah. yeah, so some of the hotels are offering to where you can stay and even at Universal and bring your pet. So there's really, you know, if if you there's are no in the evacuation area, just take care of yourself. That's all. It is. So, all right. So on to. Um, Something a little bit more upbeat. Um, we're talking about tornadoes now. <laughs> okay, okay. So no, we're not. Um, so hold on, I can't see. Um, okay, so right before we went live about an hour or so ago, um, they put out the information for the candlelight processional um, at Epcot, which um, uh, is starts on November twenty fifth. And pretty much it was most of the guests or uh, the um, returning, returning uh, narrators, but um, Josh Gad is new this year. So Disney legend Josh Gad. Disney legend slash Olaf, uh, Josh Gad. And um, Gloria Estefan is, was added to the list and then the lady from Law and Order. Um, and those were the only three new ones. Um, and of course they have Neil Patrick Harris because he's like a staple. He's, he's the star of the whole thing. <laughs> Everybody wants to go see MPH and do his. And it's like, that one's really hard to get into. You. Okay. It really is. If you want to get in to see Neil Patrick Harris, it's like really, really hard. Your to best to book a uh, dining, the dining package where you get the dining in the show mm -hmm. because you're not going to probably be able to get in there otherwise. Unless you get there like two in the afternoon in the week. It's kind of crazy too, you know, because, uh, you know, we're still in the thick of Halloween here. Mm -hmm. But they're already, like, Disney is already talking about the holidays, you know, Festival of the Holidays, which I absolutely love. Mm -hmm. um, and then the information on the candlelit processional, and I believe you check that article I put out just a little bit ago. Um, there's information about the processional and um, different things uh, as far as booking oh, dinner packages and all that good stuff. What could so. be an athlete? Be an athlete. <laughs> I don't know how that works. So <laughs> okay, what's next? I don't have a whole lot. We don't have a whole lot because we've been kind of prepping all day and trying to get stuff ready and. So this it, will probably be a shorter show. Probably it's really weird to prep because you don't know, like we go to get food and it's like, well, we got to get food, but how do we cook it if we lose power? So I got to use the grill, <laughs> obviously. So there got to be stuff that can be cooked on the grill. I don't know. We're That's just kind of winging it as we go. You know? <laughs> um, Max had asked that they missed the guest announcement. Yes, we did announce. Um, uh, Vince, Vince and Trevor from Pirates of the Caribbean. So now we have five pirates coming yes. to the expo. Yes, so it will be a pirate reunion as well as the Hope's Post reunion that we going. So um, let's see, uh, speaking of Epcot, the 40th anniversary is October 1st. Now, um, the, really all they've talked about is 40th anniversary merchandise and or the days around the first um, little special foods and desserts and things like that. Like nothing, not a big to do like they did for the 50th. Um, but there'll be a cupcake. Oh, and you know there's going to be a cupcake. And a sipper party. <laughs> <laughs> no, they actually have a dessert at um, Connections Cafe. There's like a little cake that's kind of rolled up and it looks like figment ears or something. I'd rather have that, that uh, waffle. They do have, oh, no, no, no. They do have the waffle, and it's got like like extra sprinkle and stuff on it for the 40. That waffle is the best dessert. That's a good waffle. It is. The, <laughs> the General Tso's chicken salad and the waffle, you're good for Good stuff. <laughs> and refills on your beverage. So that's what's good. See, apparently he likes it there. I do like it there. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I was, I, you know, I've had people message me, you know, asking, like, waiting and waiting, are, are, is there going to be a special ceremony? Is there going to be a special um, anything? And I have not heard anything about that yet. And also with the bad weather coming, I don't know if that would have a, a, an effect either if they had something planned yeah if like, they whatever, did whatever. but they haven't really talked about it they've talked about merchandise and, and, and snacks That's there's it. been no media event announced that we know of. right and we've talked to other people who do what we do and they have like have you heard anything or like no nah. yeah, everybody's like scratching their heads like 
Did you not get invited? Are you because <laughs> people want to know what's going on? Yeah, because we don't. I, there's nothing that I can tell you as of right now, as of today. I mean, that could change. You know. I think everything's about the hurricane right now. I'm handling that and not really worried about the weekend and the 40th anniversary type of thing. Yeah, maybe so. so. And this weekend, actually, if you are in the area, uh, Dizcon is going to be going on at Coronado, which we will be there. Brought um, to you by Give Kids of the World. Yes, Give Kids of the World is, is uh, doing this. It's, it's, it's a fundraiser for Give Kids of the World. they got a lot of celebrity guests going to be there. they got a lot of vendors. Uh, we'll be in the vendor room with Lost Princess Apparel. We'll also be talking about House of Mouse there. Um, so if you're in the area and want to come out and check it out, come check it out. It got out. moved because the hurricane. Yes. It was supposed to be Friday, Saturday. Now it's Saturday, Sunday. So their Give Kids of the World was kind of trying to put out information because they have a lot of rescheduling to do um so but if you follow give kids the world on uh facebook you can get updates there i'm yep. sure because everybody's scrambling now with this weather hitting yeah they uh omar was trying to get uh, flights moved and things like that for the the guests who are flying in to make sure and then there's people who are coming just to come to the show and then they have to schedule move their flights and such because they got moved to saturday sunday rather than friday saturday so. i know it made me think about our our show um and how lucky we're doing it in january and not in, like hurricane season because I know me, I would probably have a friggin' meltdown if something like yeah. that happened and we had to change everything. That would be super hard. It'd be rough to do at the last minute because you're always scrambling and stressing out and then to add that to the plate. I mean, it's got, but Omar's, is, uh, he's a rock star, honestly. I don't, I've never seen him get frazzled. He always seems to keep his cool and get everything done. He's talking about Omar at Give Kids the World. Omar at Give Kids the World, yeah. He just, he's phenomenal and he's really good. And he helps us out with House and Mouse as well. And they will be at our show as well. They will be. So, um, so in case anybody's like, okay, so here's another, another rumor going around the internet. Uh, so Hocus Pocus 2 comes out on Disney Plus on Friday. Now, as you know, there's a lot of hype for this movie. There is. Tons. I haven't heard anything about it. Like tons and tons they of time. Um, <laughs> so the big hype for the big, uh, chatter and all the hocus pocus groups online is that people are worried i didn't even tell you this that people are worried that disney plus is going to crash on friday because of all of the people that have been waiting years for this movie it shouldn't crash i mean it's not like oh um, i can't say that disney their servers crash all the time so do you think that's a possibility that too many people could flood it shouldn't be because it's a plus? streaming thing um i would hope that they plans in place where it won't cause an issue um because they're feeding the feed to your house to watch it but i mean it could be slow it could be a lot of things it's hard to say but not everybody's gonna be watching it at 12 1 a.m when it hits so that's the whole thing it's gonna be throughout the day and such i mean you guys people have you know uh done like for preparations for this for months setting up hocus pocus watch parties at their house um if, if you're really worried about it, once it drops, just go download it because you can download on Disney Plus and that way it's on your device. And then when you have time to watch it, you can just play it from the download rather than trying to watch it from the screen. And now that we don't have to go to Discount Friday, you can watch I it. can watch it on Friday. I'm just hoping it's good. You know, I think that there's a lot of people um, like myself that have been fans for so long and have been waiting for another movie for so long. And you don't want it to be bad or cheesy or... Mm. It's gotten good reviews, like the pre-screening of it all. People seem to really like it. They said it brings in nostalgia and all that good stuff. So I'm hopeful. Um, but I thought it was really interesting that people were saying that Disney Plus was going to crash on Friday. Do, do streaming services usually crash? I haven't heard of any. I mean, they might go slower. They might have glitches. I don't think they actually crash. If they didn't crash with The Mandalorian after the unveiling of Grogu, because oh. after that was unveiled, everybody had to go watch The Mandalorian. Because of the baby. Because of the baby. And if that didn't crash it, I don't see how Hocus Pocus 2 would. Um, the same with Book of Boba Fett. The same with uh, Obi-Wan. I mean, all these other ones. WandaVision. These shows were hugely hyped up and they had no problems. Yes, so, but people have been waiting a long time. But is it fair to say there's probably more Marvel and Star Wars fans out there than Hocus Pocus fans? I don't know. The us Hocus Pocus fans are kind of crazy. I didn't realize <laughs> I didn't realize that there was I mean I thought I was crazy about like my fandom. This fandom is, is crazy. It's like there's tons of hocus pocus groups. They have like over a hundred thousand members in it. I mean these people are these people You need to advertise our expo to those hundred thousand people. Right? If you're in any hocus pocus groups, tell them
tell them about our reunion. Um, no, no I, I, like people have been planning their outfits, making Hocus Pocus inspired desserts and snacks. And, you know, some of them are, are wanting, doing an outdoor screening with a big, oh, not here. Not in Florida. Not in Florida. But the big screen so they can watch it outside. Yeah, I put my blow up screen together so you can watch it. <laughs> um, so I'm just saying it's, it's very, uh, people are really enthused. It's okay. funny because Roosevelt's, because that's a lot of the shirts that were Roosevelt shirts, and this is one of them. The other day they dropped, um, Doug Jones actually did a cameo thing for them that they would be dropping the Billy Butcherson jersey, or shirt, which is the one I have on. And so people in the in the group in the inside group were all like, "Oh, I'm a huge Hocus Pocus fan." So I started messaging certain people like, "Just so you know, there's a house in Hocus Pocus." Wait, well, not in a scammy not way. Not in a scam way. Just people who were really big fans for whatever reason. I didn't do a lot of people. Just a couple. I hope stuff. not. No, no, no. Really no, because the people I told they were like, "Oh my gosh, I didn't even know about this." So a lot of people don't even know about the expo. Maybe and this reunion is kind of a big deal. So. It's really. It, like Jason keeps telling me it is the biggest Hocus Pocus reunion yet for them. So yeah, tell everybody. <laughs> and I'm stupid, so I'm trying to get another one or two of them. Well, you know, if Bette Midler would just return my calls, it'd be a lot easier. <laughs> so Jessica Parker. Yeah, I wish. It's so funny. Every time we're going to do a guest announcement, they're like, oh, you got Sarah Jessica Parker? No. I want Matthew Parker. You got, well, he's not in the movie. You got Bette Midler? No. But if she comes, I want <laughs> But I'm just saying that, you know, that the people i wish you guys i wish we could do those sorts of things so. it's like uh ronnie which i'm sure most people know who ronnie is um when we announced that we were originally starting to look into people we we threw around the, maybe kathy the jimmy coming he's like oh if you get kathy you had to have to have her husband come um if you know who the dan band the is dan band. it's been in different movies like wedding wedding crashers and different movies like that the dan band is her husband's band and he actually performed it a lot it's of movies. very it's like they sing very inappropriate wedding very, songs. And it's um, hilarious. but yeah so no we don't have that <laughs> and even if we did i'm pretty sure the dan band wouldn't be appropriate to have it in a family not. friendly expo yeah so randy agreed with me that they shouldn't crash but what will likely happen is more buffering and larger buffering so it might take a little bit longer to get the file to watch it, but it should yeah. it shouldn't crash. Um, and then Stephanie said that customers with HP backpacks, she told them about the expo. Oh, nice! So, Thank you. Um, I appreciate and, that. And Robert Carlson's just ready for January. I know he is. Robert's super excited because he's going to our expo. There we go. We're gonna have a good time. It's <laughs> fun. Pretty good. Um, what else did I have? I don't, I don't know. That's all I had. Yeah. Well, I'll be darn. That's all I had. The really, we went to the um, our makeup party last night. Um, we went to Not So Scary, which was the makeup from when it got rained out on the first on, night. On the first night, um, and it did not rain. We actually had a better spot. We actually got to see. Scott put a video out on our page earlier of the booty parade um, with the horsemen. We well, yeah, we to see the horseman last night because the night that we went originally, the horseman didn't ride. No, it was raining too much. So actually, the first parade was canceled. Oh, that's it was right. It was night. a mess opening night. Yeah. Like the, we didn't get to see very much at all. So no, but last night was a much better party. Um, it was us and Sean. You may have seen the picture. Yeah. Put it out there. Um, we had fun. We just uh, walked around and we uh, got candy and. We, oh, that's what you wanted to tell people. There's big candy that this time. First time we got like four pieces total for the whole night. So last night we had bags. It was like the old days. It was the old like days. people grabbing handfuls of candy and put it in your bag. It, it's almost like a month ago. They were kind of like, we don't know if we have enough candy for the season, so you get three pieces. And when last night I was like, wait, we have too much candy. Here you go. Yeah, it, they gave a lot. It, it was like, you know how last week we were talking about um, how much candy they gave away at the Oogie Boogie Bash. This is comparable. Maybe not quite as much, but pretty comparable. I still like the Oogie Boogie Bash better. I know you do. But the only thing is the bag is only this big. And I'm on a diet, so he gets I got all two my, bags. He got all my candy. And Sean and I were willing to keep going trick-or-treating, but she didn't really get into the trick-or-treating. Oh, because I just can't eat it. I so. can't eat it, so why do I want to keep trick-or-treating? It was a lot of Starburst and Snickers. Well, the first time around, it was like almost all Snickers. Now it's got a bit of variety. Yeah. If still you hear good. about that sort of I'm not going to complain about it. It's candy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess we're going to wrap up this week because, again, we are getting ready for a storm. What? Oh, Sarah said, candy equals hurricane prep. <laughs> You're right. See, now we actually have candy and stuff. Um, I, we have, like, this candy dish on our counter, and we just kind of throw it in there so that the boys can have some, too. So, and me. Mostly him. 
but yeah, the kids can have it too. Kelly says she got lots of candy last Tuesday. Adam says he keeps it to give away to the kids. <laughs> That's a good idea. A lot of people do that. A lot of people. I mean, do that. years before COVID, people would bring their mm -hmm. own treat bags, like the bigger bags, yeah. and do all the trick or treating. And then you would have, because one time we went a couple of years ago and. Like At Christmas, days. I had to throw away leftover Halloween candy because we just had so much. Yeah. It was, so, it was crazy. But, yeah. but with the price of what candy costs now, like we were at Walmart oh and God, it's like $26 yeah. for the big bag of candy. That's like, crazy. You go to Halloween party for four bags. <laughs> well, no, I mean, going to the grocery store in general is painful. Everything has gone up. But even like to give away Halloween candy this year is expensive. It is. Like, going back to give away nickels. I was a kid. I wrote five pennies that are five pennies together. taped together. Did they maybe remember that? Now we sound old. We do sound old. I know um, Sean had never heard of that when we told him. That. He's like, they used to give away money. I'm like, yeah. If you if you scored a full dollar on your trick or treat, you did pretty good. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, nobody really throws away. You used to get the big boy coupons. Remember that? And we're from Since. Michigan, mind you. So <laughs> McDonald's coupons, big boy coupons. Okay, anyway, so we're going to wrap it up for this week. Um, please stay tuned to the Main Street Mouse on our social media channels as soon as we hear an update about the parks. If and when that happens, I will be as fast as I can possibly type. I will have that information. Yeah, I would guess you. it won't be tonight at this time. So it'll probably be, unless something major changes tonight and they put it out, I would say it would probably be sometime tomorrow. I'll take Dramamine so I can handle watching the feeds and stuff so I can so i don't get dizzy watching all the weather updates so i may put an update out there that we have to raise funds for michelle because she's in the hospital because she got too dizzy she couldn't oh my god it's made me so nauseous i don't feel good right now because i was watching for updates before we went live because i wanted to be able to tell you guys what was going on i'm sorry you didn't have it on your this. oh i gotta give it a break man i just feel terrible so <laughs> Anyway, but it's all for the greater good. I'm trying to make sure that I have the right information to tell you guys. That so. is true investigative reporting right there. Right? To the point where you get nauseous. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to get nauseous. I do. I need to. I, I, it's my eyes. But anyway. Okay, okay we're going to shut devices, now. I'm shutting off the internet. Stay tuned for updates. Uh, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that people are okay. Yes, and everybody stay days. safe. Be uh, safe, please. I'm, because I know Alabama, they're saying some George is going to get some of this up the East Coast is getting yeah, it. So just everybody, wherever you're at, just please stay safe and take it be seriously. mindful. Yeah, don't don't just think, oh, it's nothing's going to happen because we Cause don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know uh, wind conditions or anything like that. So just just take it all into consideration. Don't just think we got this because we've been through before because that don't mean anything. That's true. And again, stay tuned. And um, I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Be safe, and we'll Definitely. see you next Monday. Take care, guys. Bye.